Welcome back, everybody. I've got a, uh, a video that I'm going to look at today. It's relatively short. It's like five minutes or so. But I got a documentary sent to me on Discord that I wanted to look at. But I have no idea who this guy is. Olaf Palme, um, a former Swedish prime minister. I've never heard of this guy before. Um... So I'm trying to kind of get an idea of who who he was. I know what the documentary is about. Unfortunately, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. But I, I kind of wanted to get an idea of who this guy was before I jumped into the documentary. So I'm going to watch this one. Uh, Sweden's Murdered Visionary. Let's jump into it. <laughs> people begin to think of their obituaries, they start to be scared, they don't dare to do things, and they lose their vitality. As we are here on earth, as we're doomed to be on this earth, we should try to make life as decent as possible. Uh, that is really, very simply, the basis of my political ideology. That's what, what politics is about. Dang, 42. That's young. Land och vi har ju så lätt att, att tycka att svenska Krusberg är bäst och att det är en förmån att få komma till Sverige. Mm. Att man ska anpassa sig om man är utlänning och kommer ja. till Sverige. Men eftersom jag växt upp med det så ser jag vilka oerhörda svårigheter. Vi svenskar är inte alls lätta. Yeah, that was done here too. Uh, there were a whole couple of different ways that that it was done federally. Um, I think initially it started with the GI Bill, which gave you know people that were in the military that served in the military the opportunity to um, go to college, to get loans for a house, that sort of stuff. Um, that sort of thought process, though, had some unintended consequences here. The price of university has gone up exponentially for really for like decades now. Like it is so much. If you look at a graph of what the price of, of college was in the U.S., like, uh, you know, going back decades and then just follow the trend, it's it's wild how much more expensive it is um and it kind of coincides right with a, a, a whole bunch of different federal move moves into guaranteeing 
um, the ability to go to university, but a big one was guaranteeing loans. Um, when you had the government come in and back loans as a guarantor, it the price of university significantly went up. Um, and it's one of those things that's just sort of an unintended consequence of it that I, I don't want to get too too political on it, but but we we did the same thing here in regards to university and I would say it's probably you probably have just as many people that that can't or don't go because of the money. It's just a different group of people. So it it sort of just shifted the problem to a to a different place, but you know, that wasn't the goal. The goal wasn't to do that. Green politics, we'll, we'll see what they say, but green politics I have learned in Europe can mean something totally different. The German Greens fought tooth and nail to get, to get a nuclear energy ramped down, which is like crazy because here in the U.S., that is, that's a huge thing for the green, is nuclear energy over... Um, over fossil fuels so it's it's sort of bizarre when i hear some of the arguments in in some of the european countries but that may not be him let's see what it says okay yeah he's in favor of it progress continues yes and world production increases but we have become increasingly aware of the fact that our natural resources are limited Vietnam, Guernica, Oradour, Babiar, Katyn, Lidice, Sharpville, Treblinka. Där har våldet triumferat. Men efter världens dom har fallit hård. Jesus. Okay, so it is some JFK stuff. All right, I'm here for this. So um, I've got a documentary that was sent to me on Discord that I'll jump into um, as quickly as I can. It's pretty long, so I'll probably split it up into parts, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm here for this, so I'll jump into it soon. I had never heard of this guy, I don't think even in, like, passing. I don't think I had ever heard the name before, which I know probably sounds crazy because he's probably, like, famous or infamous sort of because of his death um in sweden but yeah i don't i don't think i had ever heard his name and that's why when i saw the video that got sent to me on on the assassination i was like wait what who is this guy um but yeah it'll be good if anybody has any other uh information that you don't think because the the documentary is specifically over like his death and the investigation right so if anybody has any other information that pertains to him um that could sort of give me more context throw it out there send it in the discord um put it in the comments below i'm curious to kind of learn all i can about this guy 
before I jump into the investigation and sort of what the theories are of, of how he died. Um, so that I can kind of have a little bit more of like a educated opinion on it and not just sort of, you know, cause people can sell anything. The idea of like anybody doing anything, you know, go read some of the, or watch some of the JFK assassination videos. Um, people, people can sell like literally anything about anything. So I need more context before I jump into the, the video so that I'm not like bamboozled as soon as I start watching it. So somebody give me some context and I'll greatly, greatly appreciate it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Help me keep building the channel over here and I will see you all next time.